Hey there, and welcome to the Easy Recap channel. I'm Newman, and today I'll be reviewing the computer animated film Lightyear. Spoilers coming, so sit back and enjoy. Over 4 million light years distant, a Star Command exploration craft detects the undiscovered planet Connie Prime and awakens Buzz Lightyear, a space ranger. This is where the movie starts. When the ship touches down on the planet, Buzz examines the surface with the assistance of his partner and best friend Commander Alicia Hawthorne. She brings Rookie along, and although Buzz objects, he is persuaded to do so as Buzz talks to Alicia. When a Rookie is grabbed by a vine and dragged away, Buzz and Alicia are attacked by the vines and use their laser swords to cut them off. Buzz is shown a cave that is teeming with huge insects by Alicia. When they are attacked by bugs, Alicia witnesses their ship sinking. When the effect wears off, they run in stealth mode to the ship, shooting any remaining bugs that pursue them. Once they arrive, Alicia begins to mend the door, and Buzz runs to rescue Rookie from the vines. After chopping all the vines, he races back to the ship while carrying Rookie on his back. Buzz rushes to the control room as the spacecraft sinks and just avoids being sucked in. Alicia runs to the fuel room and prepares them for takeoff. Buzz turns on the ship and they launch but the vines change their trajectory and they head toward a mountain but struggles to lift the ship, they go over the mountain but the ship gets damaged and crashes the crew, member evacuated from the ship and Alicia tells Buzz that the crash destroyed the hyper sea crystal and they're stuck on the planet, Buzz feels bad and arrests himself Alicia motivates and tells him they can use the planet's resources to create another crystal, a year passes and the crew members successfully fix the ship, they prepare to attempt their first speed test and Buzz is the pilot. Buzz is given the go-ahead for a hyperlaunch when he leaves the planet's orbit but slingshots around the nearby sun. However, the engine fails as he returns to the planet because the fuel is unstable, and the craft's artificial intelligence informs him he is no longer on track with the rings intended to reduce his speed. Buzz then ejects from the spacecraft. Buzz successfully lands the ship when he returns to Connie's prime. The robot tells him that the quicker he moves, the further into the future he goes. Alicia meets him and tells him that he has been gone for more than four years. She then advises that they conduct the hyperspeed tests and takes Buzz home. Buzz notices Alicia wearing a ring at home, and she informs him that she is engaged to Kiko. Buzz gets into his room and sees a package from Alicia he opens it and sees a robotic cat named Sock that has been programmed to be his companion. Buzz goes to bed but has a nightmare about crashing the ship and stranding the entire crew. Buzz wakes up and decides to try and reach hyperspeed again, he asks Socks to work on stabilizing the hyperspeed, and Buzz convinces Alicia to let him continue the tests and he tries again he returns to the planet and sees that Alicia is pregnant. Buzz makes several attempts to travel at hyperspeed, after each attempt, he returns and encounters older versions of the crew members, including Alicia, who has a son. After one such attempt, Buzz returns to find Alicia, but her office was empty. He then reads the message she left for him and learns that she has since passed away and wished him farewell. The recording comes to a close when she introduces her granddaughter Izzy. He cries as he discovers an old photo of him and Alicia, Commander Burnside. Buzz is informed by Alicia's successor that they will cease trying to reach hyperspeed and will instead choose to remain in Connie's prime when he enters the room and sees Buzz. As they converse, some officers approach his door and ask for socks informing him that Sox's program is being deactivated. Buzz returns to his room and is distraught by the news. Sox tells him he's established a stable recipe for the hyperspace fuel, but Buzz says he won't be traveling to space again. Buzz closes the door after hastily removing the cage from them. The officers hear a crashing sound they rush inside and see that Buzz has broken the window and is escaping with Sox. Buzz rushes to the launch site with Sox and uses Sox formula to produce the fuel. They sneak into the rocket and Burnside tries to stop them from reaching the silo. Sox overrides his command, shuts the doors and Buzz takes off. Buzz gets into space and initiates hyperspeed he successfully reaches hyperspeed and eventually returns to Connie's prime as he enters the planet's orbit he realizes the rocket is going too fast and they fly past the base. He securely lands the rocket, sends a flare into the sky, and steps out of the rocket. He removes the hyperspeed fuel from the rocket and walks while he takes a record. He finds a weird guy pushing him and compels him to hide behind a rock. A robot appears and teleports away with his rocket. Buzz asks the strange woman what happened and she tells him the robots are from a giant ship that floats above the planet, 
They run into the woods and Buzz realizes the woman is Izzy Alicia's granddaughter. Socks inform Buzz that he's been gone for about 22 years due to time dilation and Izzy tells him about the invasion in the Zerg robots. She said they are unable to connect with anybody inside the city since the laser dome has been turned on. Buzz learns that Izzy and her team are a junior patrol team and aren't trained for combat when she takes him to her lookout station and introduces them to the other squad members. As they talk, Buzz hears a strange noise and they stand at the gate when a Zerg robot breaks through the gate and grabs him. It tries to teleport back to the mothership with him but Buzz hits the teleportation device away. He eventually rips off the robot's arm and falls the robot tries to grab him but Mo Morrison Izzy's teammate shoots it with a harpoon. As they shut down, the leader of the Zerg robots is awoken and decides to retrieve Buzz himself. Buzz talks to the junior patrol team and decides to retrieve a ship from a storage depot on his own but Izzy convinces him to let them take him to the depot. As they make their way to the depot, they arrive at their destination and Buzz bids the others farewell. He walks into the building and sees a room with the Space Rangers uniforms, they forget to collect their key from him and Mo unintentionally drops it on the floor, which triggers the car's alarm and awakens the giant, hibernating alien insects. They lock themselves in the room and decide to use stealth mode, but Buzz forgets to inform them about its timer as they leave the room and Buzz walks to a ship as the others leave the building, the timer expiring and the bugs at large. Buzz gets to the ship, they turn around and narrowly make it to the ship and fly away while flying they get attacked by Zerg who knocks them out of the sky. The group crashes on the planet's dark side and Buzz discovers that Izzy is afraid of space. They assess the damage to the ship and decide to retrieve some parts from a mine close by but in the control room, they get stuck in security cones. The movie continues on and on. But as always we will drop the curtain here, don't worry, the rest of the story you will get in the movie. Anyway, the link to this movie is in the description of this video. If you want to get access to every movie we recap on this channel, kindly join our telegram group where you will find the movie to download, now. If this movie interests you, please. Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon, so that you will always get updated whenever we recap a new movie. But until then, this is Easy Recap Channel, we recap, you watch. See you in our next video, bye.